Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwinger and of course, welcome back to another episode of LEGO Batman 100% Walkthrough, aka the Mini Kit and Red Power Brick Guide. And of course, today we continue to the third mission in the Riddler's Revenge set of missions. Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's get rolling. It is time to get our fingers green. And uh, you might be thinking to yourself, what the heck is he talking about? Well, that is because the name of today's mission is actually Green Fingers. So let's get our fingers green and uh, I hope that doesn't mean we get to turn to Hulk. Well, actually, that would be kind of awesome, wouldn't it? Imagine all of a sudden we're like, hey, I got green fingers. Now I'm going to be Hulk. That would be awesome if all of a sudden Hulk showed up in this game. That'd be a cool easter egg, but that would never happen because that's from two different companies. Alrighty, so of course uh, the little description here is uh, from the Riddler's perspective. So let's see what uh, the one and only Mr. Riddler has to say. I never really liked you, Ivy, but you're growing on me. Ha <laughs> Yep, uh, horrible puns. Get it? Because Ivy plants, yep. Oh, that one's good enough for the Joker. Indeed it is. Those mutant vine seeds in the botanic gardens will give us the lift we need. Let's go, green fingers. I think she's got green toes, too. Not just fingers. Alrighty. So, uh, first things first. We're gonna go ahead and raise this bar here. Come on. What is happening? Oh, there we go. I'm like, that was supposed to go up. <laughs> All right, and it's time for a little Mario Kart race, or at least that's what I like to call it. This reminds me of this uh, old Lego game that was uh, Lego Racers. If you've ever seen that, let me know, or if you've ever played it, let me know as well. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but that was a really cool game. I really would love to see another uh, Lego kind of minecart. Minecart? No, sorry. Karting game. That would be fun, you know, with more customization and things like that. That would be really cool. All righty. So there we go. Gonna... Hop on out from our vehicle there. <laughs> Try not to get run over by Scarecrow. And there we go. So technically it says that's our second mini kit, but uh, that being said, it's technically our first. Alrighty, so. Here we go. Time for some more battles. Alright, well, technically we don't need this vehicle. I forgot, because we can just uh, blow stuff up with Penguin. So we're going to just uh, send this thing to go blam. And this is actually where you would locate that second mini kit. Right up at the top, that blue stud there, that would actually be a mini kit. So uh, all you'd have to do is just switch to a character that can double jump, such as Clayface or someone, and double. I said double. Oh, goodness gracious. Why don't you want to walk with me now? Or Ivy, let's say. Come on. I did this before. <laughs> That's how I have one of the mini kits. There we go. So that's how you, you grab it, and then, obviously, you get it unlocked via that process. Okay. So then we're going to walk towards this way. Oh, God. Looks like the police officers attacked us. And we're going to set this thing to blow up, as well as this little bit here as well. And head to this side of things. We're going to need a character that can grapple hook. So any one of the Batwing, or sorry, Batman family members would work just fine. Then here you're going to need to switch to a character that could double jump, because of course we got to get to that ledge up there. So we're going to get up there and get our third mini kit, which is pretty gosh darn cool indeed. Then we can exit on out, and we're going to need to smash and bash some of these plants out here. I'm sure Ivy is not going to be too happy with us, but you got to do what you got to do to get the mission done. All right, let me just attack these guys because they're going to be constantly bothering us otherwise. So then uh, you just wait for the... you assemble this little switch turn. And once you get it powered up all the way, then you activate the mechanism to where it's just going to constantly go up and down, up and down. So you don't have any worries there. And now you just got to wait a little bit once you get to get up there. I don't know why those things always remind me of like chocolate cops or something like that. Doesn't it look, look uh, kind of like that? Like just the little platforms there. Alrighty, so we're going to get over here now. And break this sucker. And once you do, you get the rope... A uh, little thing assembled here. And now we can actually pull on this. Waiting for Scarecrow, of course. Beautiful. Job well done. Let's get a rolling to the next area. Alrighty. So now that we've arrived over here, of course, if you want, you could grow these flowers to be able to cross them. Uh, but as Poison Ivy, you could just swim on them. So that's not an issue whatsoever. Alright. What we need to do right now is actually switch to our vacuum cleaner, Nightwing. And we're going to need to vacuum clean the holy heck out of this area. Because we are going to need quite a few bits. 25 to be exact, as 
usually we have done uh, in the past. Okay, so we're gonna grab that. Now I'm gonna use the platform here that we've assembled previously just to cross on over. And if you want to, of course, could switch to Joker to make things a lot easier. Then switch back to Nightwing or Robin, depending on who you're using. It really uh, is kind of up to you uh, with your own personal preferences. Uh, we can't really vacuum up anything there just yet. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to Ive because she's going to grow this little plant for us. Or it always reminded me of a mushroom, so I assume that's kind of what it, it's supposed to uh, mimic. All right, let's see if we're gonna get some bits and pieces. Yes, we have, so that's really nice. Whoops, a daisy. I forgot the whole bar part of where I can't step on that. There we go. I was able to vacuum up some more bits and pieces right there, which is awesome. Whoops, a daisy. Once you fall down, well, come on, assemble that. And then we're gonna actually pick up some more of these. Uh, what do we got? 23. Still need a couple more. Still need a couple more. Okay. That's okay, we will we'll pull it off. It will be nice and dandy, wouldn't it? Or won't it, I should say. Okay, so we should be able to find the last few bits right over here, actually. Perfect. So, we're gonna just vacuum those little bits up there. And then we're gonna use Penguin to blow up this area. Because that's where we're gonna go to use our red power... Sorry, to find our red power brick, I should say. As well as the president... Uh, president. <laughs> Uh, Citizen and Pearl. I don't know why I said President. That, that was weird. Okay, so we're gonna smash all this up. Of course, this is a kitchen, if you couldn't tell before. And now we need, of course, the assistance of Nightwing with this vacuum cleaner. Load up the 25 bits here. And by the way, of course, if you want to, uh, if you uh, collect 25 more, because you can obviously tell that there are more than that, uh, if you collect 25 more, you'll get extra studs. So that's very cool as well. Alrighty, so then we're gonna use Nightwing to drive this cake into the oven. By the way, who the heck wants to eat cake with... Like, the car should have stayed on the outside. I understand loading up the cake into the oven, but why would you <laughs> put the whole RC car in there? That makes no sense. That's a pretty disgusting sounding cake. Okay, but nonetheless, we got a red power brick, which is awesome. And now we can come on down here. Switch to, uh, sorry, wrong character. My bad. Yeah, 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 I know. I know that I need someone who can mind control you. Such as Riddler or Scarecrow. There's Scarecrow. Whoops. There's Scarecrow. Perfect. Or the Mad Hatter. Uh, any one of those characters would work just fine. Alright, so now we wait for him to open up the gates for us. And then we can cross on to the next area. Alright, so the next uh, challenge that holds for us, or awaits us, I should say, is actually over here. Where we're going to need to do just a simple little kind of pushing... Uh, puzzle where you just have to align the proper colored boxes onto the proper sorry about that whoa what the heck was that my controller lagged hey stop that onto the proper uh, rectangles okay come on so of course red goes on red green guess what green goes on yellow nope green and yellow green and yellow green and yellow no come on penguin you are starting to annoy me my friend there we go perfect so we've got green placed onto the proper platform, and now we just have one more brick to go. And if I could actually push it, that would be fantastic and not miss it three times in a row. All yeah, right, sometimes it's a little more challenging than it seems just because of the camera angle. Okay, there we go. So you just position them all, and then you get yourself another mini kit, of course. All right, now you don't even have to worry about assembling the giant um, plant this time around, because uh, you have access to a character that can just... Uh, blow this up, such as Penguin here. Well, he was supposed to blow it up. Come on. There we go. That works. Alrighty, so, next up, I guess we should first assemble this little swan here, because we're gonna need that no matter what. But then... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll switch to Nightwing. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to the uh, Water Nightwing, and you're gonna dive into this little hole right in the middle here. So once you've done that, you're gonna pop up here. And then you're going to need the assistance of Batman with, uh, or in our case, Batgirl, with the glass smashing ability. And now look what that does. That powers up the fountains, which allows you to now be able to actually reach um, this mini kit right here, which is awesome. All right, terrific. So nicely done there. Now we need to bring the swan, whoops a daisy, and try not to blow up next time, just as I did there. 
And we're just gonna place it upon here. There we go. Terrific. So we're done with that. Hop up here. Now, I again, as I said, I don't point out a lot of uh, studs, but here, these studs are just so easy to get, and there, there are so many of them that I would honestly just recommend to grab them real quick, because it's so simple. And uh, they are quite valuable. Alrighty, so, next up, we're gonna need to hop on here. I said hop on there. Perfect. And then enter. Whoops. Come on. I can't go there right now, because I forgot we gotta turn off the poisonous gas for it. What the heck is wrong with you? Come on. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm pressing B, but for some... There we go. Perfect. Finally, <laughs> it works. It actually did what I asked it to do. Terrific. There we go. We got the little lever here. Now, you don't even have to pull that uh, with that character. You could lose control of him and just head onwards. All right. So, now that we've entered this area... Oh, my. Who's he shooting? Oh, okay. That's my partner. I'm like, <laughs> why? Why can't I attack him? Okay. So, we need to smash these bits here in order to assemble the panels so that we can climb onto that little uh, uh, platform up there, I guess. Uh, so let's see, there's Nightwing with his magnet boots. He's gonna get up here, booyah! Get our sixth mini kit. Pretty gosh darn cool indeed. Alright, just gonna punch those guys away. And once again, of course, uh, gonna need the assistance of a character that can uh, persuade, quote unquote, this guy, aka scare him, by using the Scarecrow, or Mad Hatter, or of course Riddler. Any one of the characters that has the mind control ability. Alrighty, so once you're done with that, drop on down. Okay, so in this area, we're gonna need someone who can uh, walk through this poisonous gas, but first, actually, we're gonna need to take care of this uh, zone. So, where's the penguin? Did I skip him already? There we go. Gonna smash all this up real quick. And once you've done that, once you've done that, there we go, finally. It wasn't doing what I necessarily wanted it to. You're gonna assemble this uh, little bit of the pipe. However, you also must first position it in the proper place by pushing it inwards. It looks like we just trapped Batgirl. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I've never done that before. I wonder if you... Oh. I was gonna say, I wonder if she could just get stuck in there for the rest of the level or not. That's pretty cool, though, that you actually could uh, push her in there. That's pretty interesting. All right, so then you're gonna Terminator walk your way over here. And the reason I'm saying Terminator walk is because Nightwing is walking very strangely. There we go. That is our seventh kit, leaving us with only two more to go. Oh, sorry, three more to go. I'm just gonna use Riddler. Don't want... I'm sorry, Joker, I mean. I'm gonna climb on up here now. Pull the lever to open up that next door, and press the button here. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. So I'm gonna make my way across. Now we're gonna need the assistance of Batman or Batgirl with the heat suit on, because otherwise, obviously, you can't uh, maintain this insane levels of heat. Alright, what? Am I glitching? Are you kidding me? Really? I mean, come on. Really? That is just the, the worst luck. What is going on? Why can't I make it through this little pipe? There we go. Okay. I don't know what that was all about just a second ago. Uh, alrighty. Whatever. I'm just gonna switch characters because that is just turning out weird and I don't want to end up uh, glitching out on the level. Alright. So while that guy's just uh, holding onto his head, I'm just gonna quickly assemble the elevator because we're gonna need that no matter what. So I'm just gonna get to work on that. But we're not going to finish the elevator just yet, because we still have a couple of other things uh, to worry about before that. Um, might as well grow the plant here, because we're going to need that for sure. Alright, let me just beat down that dude. Okay, so, uh, next up, we're going to need the Sonic Suit. Booyah! And now we need a water swimmer, so of course Nightwing or Robin will work for that. Once you've got the water levels... Lowered, you then have to bring them up again to grab the kit, and then, of course, to make it to the next side. As you can see, it's locked off, so what you do is you lower again, and then use that to cross, and then you bring it up again. So just uh, a little bit of redundancy, but nonetheless, that's how you earn yourself your next uh, mini kit. Alrighty, so only one more to go, of course, uh, and in order to get that last kit, we're actually going to need to um, get to the last area of this level, so that's why we're going to come up here. Whoops, I said, come up here, Ivy. Thank you very much for listening to me the second time around. And we're going to assemble the last few bits of the elevator. And now we can actually use it. Now it's applicable. 
And away we go. We got Batgirl and Poison Ivy working together. I never thought I would see that. That's a cool team, though. That's a cool team up indeed. Alrighty, so now, speaking of Batgirl, we're gonna need the Sonic suit for Batgirl. Take this guy out. They're gonna just keep spawning. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm just gonna take this guy out next to me. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? My bad. I forgot, this is not the glass smashing. You actually just need a penguin or Batgirl with the militia suit. Alrighty, and there you have it. That is your 10th kit. We've got the red power brick, we've got everything, so now all we have to do is press start, go into save and exit, and that's it. Job well done in DDO. So let's see what mini kit we've assembled this time. We've got our score multiplier times 6 now, so we've got times 4, times 2, and times 6 already, so that's pretty gosh darn tremendous indeed. Alrighty, increased our score by a good amount of points right there. And let's see what we've assembled. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cute. Look at this thing. It's like a mini version of that plant that we got to build in the level. Pretty cool. I, I really like when they actually kind of tie it into the level. Uh, I, I don't know, I just think it makes cool... It's like a cool little Easter egg almost. But yeah, there you have it guys. That concludes of course another episode of LEGO Batman 100% Walkthrough. If you guys found this video entertaining or informative in any way, shape or form, please like the video. That really does help me out a ton guys. Of course, if you could also share it with your family and friends, that would be highly, highly appreciated. Favoriting the video is another terrific way to show support. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on all the great content that goes up on the Blitzwinger channel on a daily basis. Alrighty guys, hope you guys had a fan flip fantastic day or have a fan a fan flip fantastic day sorry almost stumbled over my words there hey wait a minute no not almost i did stumble over my words but nonetheless hope you guys enjoyed this episode tune in tomorrow for another uh, episode of of course uh, the 100% walkthrough and it is the second to last episode in the riddler's revenge storyline so it should be pretty exciting definitely tune in to find how that one will unfold Alrighty, guys i hope you guys have a fan flip fantastic day as i said before and i'll see you later